Hi, everyone. Welcome to Friday. It is Friday, May 8th, and it is time for Jacob Wetterling Resource Center Story Time. Sorry, just trying to get myself organized. Um, today, the book I'm going to read is called The Peace Book by Todd Parr. So again, The Peace Book by Todd Parr. Oh, and we do have, um, we do have someone listening to Story Time. You want to come in and say hi real quick? This is Tipper. He's going to listen to story time with us. You want to say hi, Tipper? Tipper is my male cat. He is three years old. Oh, sometimes he doesn't like to be helped, but he loves story time. All right, Tipper, are you ready? The Peace Book by Todd Parr. Peace is making new friends. Peace is keeping the water blue for all of the fish. Peace is listening to different kinds of music. Peace is saying you're sorry when you hurt someone. Peace is helping your neighbor. I love the colorful pictures. When you guys are done with the story, if you want to re-watch the video, I think you should make your own pictures and your own storybook. Peace is reading all different kinds of books. Peace is thinking about someone you love. I know for some people, the libraries have been closed, so that is really tough. But hopefully you have one of those little free libraries in your neighborhood, and when you go for a walk, you can take a new book and leave an old book for someone. That's my favorite. Peace is giving shoes to someone who needs them. That's a lot of shoes. plus lots of different colors. Peace is planting a tree. That's the best part about spring is all of the flowers and plants that we get to plant outside. Peace is sharing a meal. That's a tree. Sharing a meal. Peace is wearing different clothes. Peace is watching it snow. I was watching the news and Belinda Jensen on CARE 11 put a snowflake in, saying that maybe Friday morning there was going to be a snowflake, depending on where you live. Peace is keeping the streets clean. Peace is offering a hug to a friend. Doesn't that look like someone that would give soft hugs? Peace is everyone having a So I haven't built any bird homes, but I have a few bird feeders that I've been building. And I saw my first hummingbird yesterday. So I'm gonna make sure that all my bird feeders have food. Peace is growing a garden. Peace is taking a nap. I love gardens. I also love taking naps.
piece is learning another language. And here, this almost looks like Tipper. Tipper saying meow. Peace is having enough pizza in the world for everyone. I do like pizza. Peace is keeping someone warm. Peace is new babies being born. I think there's also going to be some new babies here. Some baby chicks. Peace is being free. Pretty pictures, I just love the colors. Peace is traveling to different places, which we can't really do right now, but hopefully soon. Peace is wishing on a star. We can do that no matter where you are. Peace is being who you are. Look at all of those great pictures. Peace is being different, feeling good about yourself and helping others. The world is a better place because of you. Love, Todd. Thank you, Todd. So again, this was a very short book that had beautiful pictures. So you might have to watch it a couple of times because it's so short. But our story time for Friday, May 8th is The Peace Book by Todd Parr. And he does have some other books that he's written. The family book, Underwear, Do's and Don'ts. It's okay to be different, which is maybe a book that we'll read later. And the feel good book. So thank you, Todd Parr. And thank you everyone for joining Jacob Wonderland Resource Center Friday Storytime. We so enjoy you coming here, even if it's just for a couple minutes. All right. Have a good weekend.